and work my way. I start in the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. I start in the middle with my God. So then I know I'm gonna be even on both sides around, mm -hmm. okay? I'm not gonna do this because you see her hair, right? Mm -hmm. She has natural hair. If I pull her hair down like this and cut, when it comes back up, it's, it's gonna be sure. Right. So I'm gonna relax my hands, okay, as I cut. So I would take the comb and see my inches, mm -hmm. I would go here and see, I'm taking off more of the You good, right? Okay, so I'm taking off all of this, but if I tell you all I want you to do an inch, I want you to pull it down to where you see that, the, the one, and that's where you stay at, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I'm taking that off. Yeah. Yeah. And then you keep all her length, too. That's what makes the look totally different. So it's Monday, April 17th. And as y'all can see, we started our section of haircutting today. And it's going so well. I switched classes and everything. I'm um, loving my new class so far. And we're getting a whole demo on a proper haircutting service, a proper everything from the top to the bottom. So I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm excited. Relax. Relax. Only for the floor. You get on that. And we some different things like that. It is. No, there's this. Good morning, y'all. It's April 20th, Thursday, and I've been doing a horrible job at showing y'all what I've been doing on this particular vlog. It's a lot of stuff going on, y'all. It's a lot. So, I just switched classrooms. So, I have a new teacher, a new classroom, a new uh, classmates. Everything is going well in the new class. I love it. I also have a lot of orders to pack and process, and that's where I'm, I don't have no time at. I don't have no time so I've been like working 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 I have not picked up my camera I'm sorry y'all I'm gonna try to I'm gonna get back into the swing because I was finding myself falling off I'm not gonna fall off I'm gonna show y'all this journey so last night I packed about 51 orders this that bag and then this bag I didn't fill this bag up because I have to go to the post office by myself because Jesse went on a vacation to the Dominican Republic so he's not here to help me carry my packages so I gotta keep the bags light because I ain't got no help but anywho this morning I got up a little early so that I can you know clean some of these business dishes so that when I get home from school I can go ahead and make hibiscus and ginger shampoo bars I am restocking today by the time y'all see this vlog I be done restocked long way down but I'm restocking today um, and tomorrow, today for plus number, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And the next time y'all see me, I'll probably be at school. Before I leave, I do have two packages that I wanna open up really quick. One is from Amazon. Don't know what's in this package. Let's see. I've been ordering so much stuff that I literally don't be knowing what I'm gonna get. Dang, this is huge. This is not supposed to be this big. Well, I guess it can be. We wanted some strainer so that we can strain our juice. This is huge. This is big as my face. Wow. And then I do know this, what's in this box. I ordered me some dunks from my friend named Bernard. He is the shoe plug, period. And I'm just now getting into sneakers and stuff, so. And he be having hella shoes. When I say hella shoes, he be having hella shoes. So I ordered me a pair, and they came in the mail. <laughs> so let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Yeah, these is the ones. Yeah, these babies look good. So shout out to Bernard, Elevated Soul. I'ma put them in his uh, link in the description so y'all can copy y'all some. Now let me go ahead and get out this dough before I be late. So we're practicing how to hold your shears. So I just learned that you hold it this thing. Your thumb. Like that. And then you take your thumb out. Period. And you rush out. And you take your comb and you comb, right? And then when you about to you know get ready to cut, you place the comb. 
Oh, you just could. So we're about to do a zero degree cut, which is a blunt cut, but we can't really cut it. We're just practicing, you know, just simulating. So watch me do that. So y'all, I get to freestyle a style on my mannequin. After I did my cut, y'all wanna see it? It's a, a blunt cut. I gotta flat on it and do something to it. So that's what I'm about to do. So y'all go watch me do my first flat on on the mannequin. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do. It's just gonna be a little freestyle, I'm gonna show y'all. I forgot my concentrator. I'm about to clean this up. I want to try to see my curl. Oh, this is my very first curl. It looks so good. Hey y'all, it's April 24th, a Monday, and we're still doing hair cutting, but my teacher isn't here today, so we're on the floor with the floor instructor, Miss Latoya, and we're just practicing hair cutting on our mannequin, so let me go show you. So, Nene is about to give me a little tutorial on how to do a 45 degree cut, since our teacher not here, and I ain't get a good demo, so she's gonna give me a demo. I don't know if I ever showed y'all my locker, but this is how I try to organize it. So I got my little labels, and then my mannequin heads, my bottles hanging up on the hooks, my blow dryers and flat irons hanging up. This ain't the best, but I'm working with a very small space on doing the best that I can, okay? We're about to do a 90 degree haircut on the collar. So I gotta go shampoo him, shampoo him, and then we're gonna cut. So I finished my cut and it's giving layers. So now I have to blow dry it and style it. I don't know what style I'm gonna do. I'll just show y'all when I'm done. So I tried and this is what I got. Some curls or something, a little flip a little way. Hey, it won't turn around. I tried though, y'all. This is my first first style for real. I know I thought I was going how y'all think I did? <laughs> Comment below. So I just did a flat arm, right? Y'all wanna see it? 
I'm gonna show y'all. So y'all see this? This is what you call a 90 degree cut. Y'all see those layers? You see my feather on my flat iron? Yeah. And this is my first flat iron. I think I, I did a really good job for this to be my first one. What do y'all think? Can y'all comment for me? <laughs> Why is she so silly? What's this dance? <laughs> So this is what I did freehand with that razor that y'all just saw. So this was freehand. Look at Jaleesa back there sweeping up. <laughs> this is a little freehand. Freehand razor cut. What y'all think? I hooked Kyle up. I got him a little bang. He's banging. It's got depth. It's got texture. I like this. Now. You gotta do a combination cut. 45, oh my bad, from that. 45 and then 90 at the top. If the, let me charge this real quick, I'll be back. Okay, so it's Monday, May 1st, back at school, and we're doing texturizing techniques. So I have to do each of the six techniques, and they are point cutting, notch cutting, chunking, slithering, carving, and beveling. So I have to do them put it in six parts and do each one. So let's get into it. So this was slithering, this was carving in the back, I did uh, point cutting in the point cutting down here, beveling up here, this was notching, and then this was chunky. Tuesday, May 2nd, we about to get a barbering tutorial from one of our classmates who's on the phone. So, let's so as you see, but don't go into this part. Don't go like right. stay. I kind of go like right here and I flip back out that way. This is just a half picture. I'm going to start this out the same way. And then this is the finished product. I think you got a technique. I'm trying to see what it is. Yeah, my boy Stanley, man, just came in with the amazing clips. Yeah, I'm so proud of Stanley. My student. The first male student that was in my class for the whole 18 weeks. All right. See this? So what we're doing is, is everybody ready? I'm It's Thursday, someday. What's today's day? It's Wednesday, May 3rd, and we get to freestyle a clipper cut. So I'm about to try to freestyle. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'll show y'all. At the end, my finished product, and I'll let y'all see me getting that wrist action. I just realized I'm doing these guards backwards, so I'm low key getting higher. The hair is getting shorter as I'm going up, and it's supposed to be the opposite. So my cut is finished, and it's a, like I want to give it like a little bold cut with a fade in the back. So let me show you. This is how Cal turned out. I, I cut his beard down too. But y'all see his little bowl cut and his taper. 
Yeah. Okay. And I cut these little bangs freehand. Period. So Kiera, Kiera's hair is done. I gave her um, a silk press, a little flat iron. My first one. And yeah, she did a good job. So it's Thursday, May 4th. I'm back home from school. As y'all saw, I did my very first silk press today. It's crazy that I'm gonna be seeing my very first a lot because I don't do hair yet, but I'm learning and I really enjoyed it. So I'm back home now and I gotta make some shampoo bars. Susie Coils bars and hibiscus bars. So today I'll be getting a feel of like what it will be like to take a client and then make product. So this is a real full Susie Coils life experience that I'm getting today. But I enjoyed doing that silk press. It wasn't a lot of work. It only took me like two hours to do to do the shampoo, condition, blow dry, and then the silk press. It only took me like two hours, so that was good. I typically be moving slow. And I didn't move that slow today, so that's really good. I'm getting faster at doing services. And I credit that all to Miss Tucker having us always style our client, our mannequin after we do something to it. So we can just get in a habit of styling and be, being fast. So I appreciate that. I'm really glad I switched classes. But let me get to work. So it's Friday, May 5th. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Sing out of Mayo. Yeah. It's the final day of haircutting, and we have to do a challenging cut. So, one that we were not confident in, and then we have to do our uh, special cut. So, that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna do a 90 degree cut because I ain't good at that one. And then I'm also doing, I don't know, something special. I'll show y'all though. Hey y'all, dang. Why well, I just realized I didn't get back on this camera and show y'all my cut that I did at school. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures of it. It's not finished because I didn't flat iron it yet, but that's the cut that I did right here. Um, but I guess I have it from Amazon, so I want to hop on here and show y'all what I got. I already opened the box, so this is out the box. So go ahead and show y'all. So this is it. It is a rolling duffel bag so that I can carry my stuff to class more efficiently. And well, the thing is, it's a roll up, rolling duffel bag. And this is how big it is. This is how big this is. I could probably fit into this thing, that's how big it is. Almost. Oh, I can fit in here. That's how big this thing is. That's insane. But no, this got a lot of good pockets, good space. Pockets on the inside, pockets on the outside, pockets on the side, all around. Really good storage to carry some stuff. So. I'm excited that I got this because I'll be taking so much stuff to school that I'll be needing one of these to bring it all home low key. But yeah, that wraps up hair cutting. I am done with hair cutting. I learned so much. I'm enjoying my new classroom. Yeah, right now I'm about to box up shampoo bars that I made last night and call and want to get some orders out because baby, the orders need to go out so I could do a restock. I gotta send these orders out, calm down, take a breather, get my house clean and organized, and then get ready to restock. 
because the people was asking for restock and I'm gonna give it to them but I gotta let things calm down but that's it for this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content and more of my cosmetology school journey